How are you? Oh, I'm good. COVID free. Must be, must be good. Must be good to say that. Just be like, I'm good. I'm COVID free. Oof. Must feel good. Mm, yeah, it, it does. And I'll tell you what, I've done two tests. Why? Why did you need to do two good. tests? Uh, first time around, it's just like, you know, because I could. <laughs> and, then, and then the second time around, what was it? What was because I was trying to find out, oh, I was thinking I might, you know, come down to SA, but it didn't work out. Ah. So I did that test. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. All right. Listen, I need to say this while we're recording that I love your hair. Like, I cannot say it enough. So now I've said it. And I want the world to know, I love okay. your hair. When will, <laughs> when will black people be free of this objectification by hair? Oh my will God. Objectifying will be your best friend. When will we will be free. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, We're so back. Where are you? I am I am in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. The capital of the country is Amsterdam, where I am sitting right now, right? And yeah. uh, <clears throat> it's trying to drop that image, mind you. Oh my yeah. bad. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean they I mean, you know, but they try they're to cafes, they, they're, they're uh, trying they're to weed cafes. They cannot drop that image. That's why we are coming <laughs> there. We are vaccinating ourselves so we that's can come exactly. so freely. What? Yeah. No. It is a country of uh of uh seventeen million people, twenty three million bicycles. Um and in Amsterdam the population I would not expect the population to be more than uh, a million. I don't think it is. Uh, so, are you guys under lockdown? Yeah. Yes, we are. And um, do you want a comparative uh, take on this whole lockdown thing? Yeah, you can just tell me how your lockdown works if you have a curfew and all that jazz. Right. Our lockdown is basically about... Uh, Places of um, like gathering, like say, say stadiums closed, uh, restaurants, bars closed, um, but you can order from restaurants. Yeah, so so then that, um, so that the uh, you know they they've got some revenue, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh obviously things like uh, public transport are still working but probably reduced somewhat um, so there's a control in numbers are... no because obviously not enough people are using uh, oh okay okay, but, okay yeah so there isn't yeah, someone so we... monitoring how many people are in a cart in a train or anything like not that not necessarily okay. not necessarily but it's just more of a question of demand you know you know mm. not people not many people are using i know people are not using public transport as as per normal you know okay. so consequently they've had to just like you know cut it down a little bit are there fines being issued out to people who are not adhering and like you already spoke about the restaurants but like what measures yeah. are in place and what is being enforced um i don't think that I'm, I'm i'm not aware i'm not aware of there being enforced like you know um people who have had to be uh you know uh hauled and put in the back of a van police van or whatever <laughs> because we're not for not for not adhering to the rules uh, -huh. uh but i do know that um uh it is it, it is the one time I, I remember I went to another city, and there were people in the in in the in the in the, in the like in the public square or whatever mm -hmm. that will tell you in this area in this particular area you have to wear a mask otherwise you're not allowed to go past here you know you know you, 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 this is outside mind you yeah. right? now when I say when I say this um this was in lockdown one we are in lockdown two now. We've had two waves. Lockdown what does two lockdown two mean? Is it a stricter lockdown or a less stricter lockdown? I think that uh, comparatively, um, 
I think it is more strict because the, but also compared to, to say South Africa, it's don't, still not. Don't. We are <laughs> in prison here because last year we did the 200 and whatever days yeah. of stay home, don't move and yeah. so. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to flex or nothing like that, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I yeah, know. So, um, <clears throat> so that is how it is. I think it's in general, it's a very, it's a very, uh, as a culture, the whole thing is you're an adult, you know, you know what to do. Do the right thing. Yeah. Like everywhere else in the world, there are still some people that have an issue with this whole thing, just in general. Just like, yeah, tell me about okay, that. You tell me what oh, to do. Yes, I tell mean, me about know? the people that exactly. did have issue with this whole thing and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they, uh, they will never be reasoned with, you know, and I think those are the kinds of people that I would expect. Those are people like in the summer of 2020, so, so there would be a June, July or so, mm -hmm. would have been protesting the restrictions that were put in place, which, Mind you, you, you have to keep remember you have to keep reminding yourself that those were very light. We we we're basically living our lives, you know. Anyway. And um, anyway, right? And yet there were people who had issues with that. And I I, I, I I don't really know what their motivations are. All I can tell you is that from my perspective, and because obviously I'm always comparing where I come from, South Africa versus where I am now, mm. uh, and I think to myself. Yeah, y'all, you, you could just chill, you know. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. You know? But you know that whole thing of um, uh, don't trample on me, my rights, and uh, all that. Yeah. It's very, uh, it, 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 it's it's very strong with a certain section of um, the population. Aww. And I think it's not just it's in the nice. country. It's 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 it, 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 you've seen it happen in other, you know. I think uh, democracies. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for using that word because it's, it's not a <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, wow. It's just the whole we have nothing better to do thing, I think. I feel they were just like, oh, what can we fight about now? Because we're done with our yeah. gardens. And so the people that do test positive, what are they taking home remedies? How are they handling the positive people? Well, look, now let me think about my colleagues. Uh, there's been a couple of colleagues that have had just like a handful. Uh, the one that I know the most about, I think um, she, she got it from, uh, you know, uh, her son. And I understand that, you know, it was more a question of like, you know, self-medication. As you would happen with, say, for example, you get the flu and you treat the symptoms and then you just wait it out. Yeah. You know, I don't know exactly what, so basically like you, you have a headache take care of you or but I'm not aware <laughs> I'm not aware of any like particularly uh popular home remedies that people are uh, doing um, but that's all me I'm not inclined to do stuff like that right I just so I, I don't, I don't want to be right. I'm sending you Mshonyana, yes. so you stop this behavior now oh look look I would so so I think I would just love to get me some Mishonyana. I would love that. Please. My dad, my dad always has Mishonyana. Yeah. Right? Your dad is my it. hero. Your dad is my hero. Please, yeah. please, please regain me with that story again because your dad is my fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, so my dad, uh, he ain't even trying to play with the COVID, y'all. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. dad lives in Durban. Right. And has lived in the same house that I grew up in, still lives there in mm -hmm. And he tells me that across the street, somebody died of mm. uh, COVID, you know. And so he has to go pay his respect. Right. He, he then, um, as, as a you know, neighborly as people we, we've lived close to for decades. Yes. Uh, he goes over there, and but does not even so much as enter the yard, let alone stands at the gate. <laughs> Stands at the gate. <laughs> every, every time I tell the story, it just seems so ridiculous. Dude, come on. I you love you. Your dad. Your dad. <laughs> He's my person. He's my kind. Yeah. But like, where's the fool? Because, you know, my dad's a church guy. Mm -hmm. Where's the suit? Yes. Right? 
goes across the street. Right, stands, stands at the at gate. The gate ten, stands at the gate. Uh, people Pays his respect. And I suppose he must have waved, waved at someone to <laughs> show that he's there. Yes. And um, then uh, does not actually go or, you know, and follow the funeral procession to, right. uh, to, to the, he doesn't go as far as that. And when it, it's all over, you know, you know, because you know how it is, we have a part of the funeral at home. Right. Um, so when that's all over, walks back to his house, mm-hmm. right? Uh, his house has a garage, which which like most garages has this a is not funny. This is actually does not belong. Information. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> which like most garages contains a lot of things that should not be in the garage. For example, a washing machine. Indeed. So what does my dad do? He takes off all his clothes. All his exposed could be infected corona clothes. Uh, down to his drawers, you know. <laughs> down to his drawers. <laughs> put, put everything that he wore to go and stand at the gate of some house. Yes. In the machine. Yes. Right. Like he should. And in the washing machine. Right. Washes them clothes, and then, and then in his drawers goes directly into the shower. They say, yeah, into the shower, and then. And also, and he happens to, he, he's been doing this forever, since this whole thing began. He's got this spray that he just be, it's an antibacterial spray. He just be rotten all over himself. Does that as well. What a ninja. So, in, in, in lieu of deodorant, after the shower, he does that. Listen, that's what we should be doing. My friend Marika <laughs> does this. She has yeah. shoes that she can only use outside. They don't come in the house. In the house, she has yeah. in the house shoes. She sprays everything as she moves between her garage or her house. She sprays when she goes out. She sprays when she comes yeah. in. She listen. Yeah. She's out there gloving when she's outside. Gets in the house, throws away the gloves. She'll change clothes. And I'm just like, we have to change our behavior. We can't pretend not yeah. everything is normal. So your dad yeah. is officially my COVID hero of 2020. So. <laughs> hey, hey man I, I, I have to say he is mine too yeah. because especially you know for his age he's gonna he, he, he's gonna keep it real you know? yeah he does he yeah. does okay so vaccine oh cool so home remedy is done what what are your thoughts on the vaccine and um, are you guys developing your own are you gonna import from next door what's the deal there with the vaccine so we are part of the EU Right, mm-hmm. and I believe the EU has decided that it, the best thing to do is to uh, is to handle uh, vaccine supply as a block of nations. Okay. So, um, so, so basically, they have started in this country. I think they started on January the sixth um, yes. to actually start vac- vaccinating um, the most vulnerable in the population. So, for example. Right. Uh, uh, medical care, m- medical staff, and uh, probably from then on, they, they, they've actually uh, um, basically created different sectors of society that will go one after the other. So it's going to be a block then, type vaccination type of thing. Exactly right. Are people being given now, a choice or are they just being vaccinated? You're in this block, you must just get your shot. Oh, in a country where people. I mean, I'm I'm about to go and get me some booze after this. Do you think that? <laughs> do you think they can tell people? <laughs> do you think they can tell people to do anything? Yeah, hell no. But it, I think in general, I'm hoping really that people are going to choose. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's optional. It's not like mandatory. You know, but, I stopped. I stopped listening to you after you said you're gonna go get yourself something to drink after this because I I was so hurt. <laughs> So I, I should, I should, you, I should, you know I, should very well. that I, I, I said that, I was just trying to poke the bear there, I, <laughs> I know, I know what happened to you. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. It hurts. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here really now hurt. with like some grapefruit <laughs> thing, just grapefruit <laughs> thing away. Right, right, right. Okay, um, what's, yeah. what's been your most favorite thing or least favorite thing about the COVID change? What thing has happened that's changed so much that you're like, oh, that's cool, or something that's been like weird or yeah. shit? 
I, I'm, I'm going to go straight to the weird or shitty thing. You know what? I I really do not like being in the house for so much. I really. <laughs> Nah, I'm not a fan, yo. Yeah, you're you're a yeah, you're you're yeah. you like the streets, man. You like the streets. I like I, yeah, I love the streets, you know. Yeah. I do. And um I don't and honestly just not having the the interaction with my colleagues that I yeah. am so so I'm I am after all living in a country where I don't have my friends, right? So Ooh. my friends yeah, don't cry for me. Don't cry. For me. <laughs> I almost, yeah, I almost, uh, you know, got yeah. emotional there. But anyway, mm-hmm. yeah. So my friends would be my colleagues, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. As in, like, people I interact with them. So, so she, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. With my colleagues, after all. So I think that that part of it, not a fan. Really. Mm. And I think uh, one of the great... Uh, uh, losses. I mean, then there have been many, but and and and, and there has been evident and um, and shown in a whole lot of studies uh, is, is the psychological impact of all this isolation. And I felt it at times. You know, I felt you know that I I I, I don't I don't think it's it's what human beings are meant to be doing. They're not. We're not meant to be in our houses so much. Right. Yeah, it's it's hard. We're, it's we're, hard. Yeah, I'm not a. I am not a fan. I, um, what word shall we think about now? There are upsides, right? Um, upsides are, have been, for example, man, is the city clean? <laughs> because they are not tourists. Seriously? <laughs> they are not tourists.